Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to draw a DNA strand or DNA helix inside Adobe Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So the first thing we want to do is go to the line tool and draw a straight line. So hold down the shift key and draw a straight line. Then go to transform, go to the height and type in 500 pixels. Now select a stroke width that you like. Then go to effects, go to distort and transform and then go to zigzag. Then click the preview button, select one ridge per segment and the size should be around 85 pixels. Then click smooth and click OK. This is one half of the DNA strand. So to get another one, we simply just copy it and rotate it. So go to the selection tool, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Now we have two of these shapes on top of each other. So while having the top one selected, hold down the shift key and rotate it 180 degrees. Then select both strands, go to stroke and select round cap. Then after that, go to object, go to expand appearance, then go to object again and expand. Make sure fill and stroke is checked and click OK. Now we have created the base of the DNA strand. To make the DNA strand look like it's twisting, we have to create some holes in the shapes to make the strands look like they overlap each other. So to do this, go to the selection tool and select both strands. Then go to object, go to path and select offset path. Then click preview and type in an offset that you think will fit. I will type in 8 pixels. And what you're looking for is the distance between this line and this line. That will be the size of the cutout right here. So now click OK. Then select all the shapes, go to the shape builder tool and with this we can build the shapes that we want. So I want this shape and this shape to connect. So click and hold down the mouse button and drag all the way to this shape right here. Then release the mouse button. This combines these shapes. Then follow the strand all the way down to this shape and click this shape one time. And then we want to combine this shape with this shape and follow it up and click one time at this shape. Now we have created all the shapes that we want. So now right click and click on group. Then go to the selection tool, unselect the shapes and now simply hold down the shift key and select all the shapes that you want. So this one, this one, this one and this one. And as you can see, now there's a small distance between the shapes. So with these shapes selected, go to edit and click cut. Then simply select all this leftover and click delete on your keyboard. When the leftovers are deleted, go to edit and click paste in place. These are the parts we need for our DNA strand. So now right click and click group. Then once again, go to the line tool and while holding down the shift key, draw a horizontal line. Select the width that you want. I'll choose a width slightly smaller than the base of the DNA strand. Then go to the selection tool and place this line at the top of the DNA strand. Make sure it snaps to the guides. Then hold down the Alt key to duplicate and drag a copy of this line down to the bottom of the DNA strand. Then once again, hold the Alt key to duplicate and duplicate this strand just slightly above the original. We need 13 of these lines between this line and this line. This means we can now copy this step we just did 12 times more to get 13. So to copy the step, simply just click Ctrl D 12 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This means we now have 15 lines. Now select all the lines, go to Vertical Distribute Center and delete following lines. Delete the top line, delete the bottom line and delete the two lines just at the crossover. Do this up here as well. Now select these two lines and notch them down until this distance matches this distance. Do the exact same step down here as well. When you're happy with the distance between these lines and the thickness of the lines as well, select all the lines, go to object and go to expand. Then make sure fill and stroke is checked and click OK. 
Now right click the lines, go to arrange and click send to back. Then select everything. Go down to trim on your pathfinder menu. If it isn't open, you can find it in the window and pathfinder right here. So go down to trim. This trims off the lines, then go to shape builder tool. Hold down the alt key to subtract and delete all these lines. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can click on one of the videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching.